The White House is doubling down on the total lie that the Texas National Guard is to blame for the tragic drowning of three migrants in the Rio Grande near Eagle Pass, Texas, despite being fact-checked by their own officials. According to a Supreme Court filing by Biden's Department of Justice, the migrants died before Texas was even alerted to the situation. And after being caught in that bold-faced lie, the White House still refusing to correct it, apologize, and back the down. Our statement is consistent with DOJ's filing. As the DOJ filing said, there was an ongoing emergency situation that Border Patrol was blocked from accessing. There were other migrants in the water. Then why as wasn't well. that included in the there statement? There were other migrants in the water. That, that, that that's what you were our, referring to. Our statement is this, is very, very much consistent with DOJ filing. Anything else specific you want to know about that? I would certainly refer you to DOJ. Here to react is Fox News contributor, the great Sarah Carter. Sarah, good to see you. Um, listen, I, I good to see you both. I am so frustrated because this is the death of shame. Re Democrats are focusing on misinformation and disinformation, and they boldly stand at the podium and will lie about Texas and the drownings. They'll lie about COVID. They'll lie about vaccines, just to name a few. Um, and there's no end in sight. And for the most part, the media gives them a pass. It's outrageous. Oh, it is outrageous, Sean. And uh, let me explain to you. I spoke earlier today uh, on this specific subject uh, to Lieutenant uh, Chris Olivares. He is the spokesman for Texas Department of Public Safety. They are insulted. They say it's disingenuous. It is an absolute lie. And the thing is, when the White House continues with a lie and they double down on a lie like they did with the whipping incident, remember that, with the Border Patrol agents, that lie tends to travel a lot further than the truth. And mm. the truth of the matter is, is that 1,700 migrants have lost their lives since Biden opened this border. And that's just what we know of. It could be far higher than that. This is Biden's open border policy. It is extremely dangerous. He has made it very clear that anyone who attempts to enter the border will be brought in through the border by our federal agents. Now, the morale in the Border Patrol is extremely low. Our agents are doing everything. I'm there all the time to fight this, to try to do the right thing. But they are being told to process and release. We already know this. Secretary Mayorkas admitted as much mm -hmm. behind the scenes to Border Patrol, saying we release roughly 85 percent of those that come into the country. We, I mean, and they don't even properly vet them. The problem here is that you're pitting the state against the federal government. It's like a David and Goliath battle on the border. And it is extremely dangerous. It is dangerous for everyone involved, both for Americans, for the migrants that are losing their lives, for the Americans that are losing their lives due to fentanyl and, and criminal activity, and I've seen it across the country, uh, to the migrants that don't even have housing, to the Americans who are trying to pay for their daily, uh, just, just to put food on the table and living paycheck to paycheck. And, and just like Dagan said earlier, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars are being spent on people that aren't even American, mm. and we don't even know who they are. So we have a national security and humanitarian crisis, and unfortunately, it's incumbent now upon the state of Texas, local law enforcement, and Governor Greg Abbott to protect the American people from the Biden administration, not from the cartels, from the Biden administration, because they don't want to stop it. These Democrats know what they are, they're doing. Sarah, just listen to Vice President Harris. Again, it's the Republicans to blame for the border crisis. Everyone knows our immigration system is broken. Right. Okay. The first bill that we dropped, the first bill that we offered right after inauguration was to fix the immigration system, a comprehensive plan to deal with the immigration system. Do you think they've taken it up? No. We want solutions. The solutions are at hand. Uh, Biden dropped an amnesty bill that even Nancy Pelosi wouldn't touch, so let's fact check that. Right. But, Sarah, the Biden White House and his campaign are trying to turn this issue against the Republicans because they know it's a loser. And lying is the only way they know how to handle it. Today, Karine Jean-Pierre actually had this to say, talking about the three migrants who died. Let's be sensitive here. 
Let's be mindful here. Sensitive and mindful right. is what you should have been before you opened the border and allowed all of these people to die and women to be raped and to allowed human suffering and misery to occur and allowed cartels to profit from it. Dagan, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. There were five people involved in that incident, a mother and a child who were rescued in Mexico by Mexican authorities. The other three, a mother and two children, died in the currents of the Rio. The Rio Grande is very deceitful. It looks calm on top and underneath the currents will grab you and just pull you in. I've seen it with my own eyes when I've been out on the border. I was actually out one night with Lieutenant Olivares when we heard a woman screaming for her life. It actually aired on Fox, um, on Sean Hannity, and we went mm. running after her because I thought we were going to have to jump in and try to save her. And fortunately, there was a smuggler, uh, believe it or not, already in the water at, that had pulled her into the boat by the time we reached her. We see this all the time. Another time I was down there, there was a body in the same area where this uh, woman and her children had lost their lives. Yep. There was a body literally floating behind me. Mm. Um, this happens Thank all you. the time. We've yep. lost 1,700. This is Biden's policy, and I, it has got to stop, this open borders policy. Yes, yeah, sir, Carter. Thank you so much. Thanks for bringing the story to us. And by the way, you did a great job at the Iowa Diner for Hannity on Monday night. It was awesome. Rachel and I watched it, so well done. Thank you. Thank you.